Salam, Salam. We the Hebrew Israelite Chicago branch with a sit down. Before we get started, uh, we want to send all praises on and glory out to Yahweh, Yahweh, Hashem, and Kakudash. To the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York, we want to send up ones because they do real well. For the brothers around the world, preaching the truth on cut off filter, giving you good, bad, and ugly of the scriptures, directly breaking down the prophecies and the interaction with people and planet. Declaring war on it, we send salutations. But hopefully, let me hope this out of fine. Basically, um, we were sitting up here kicking it at the beach, and Asha asked a question on Lil Young. I'm not gonna say Lil Young, but actually, a, a, a brother with a, a lot of fucking wisdom on him that's trying to get the scriptures now to connect. He had a question that came up, and this, that, and other. So we just basically sitting here expounding on it, and in the midst of expounding on it, we said, let's just do the sit down on it as well. So, Put the question out there, Asha, and then we're going to expound on what right. we came up to. All right, so this is, uh, we're going to actually go to the scripture for the question. You know, you know, you got people around you asking all these questions, you know what I mean? These Christians lost in the sauce, and I had to, you know, find myself trying to give edification, you know what I mean, make sure I, I don't miss the beat. But uh, the question was, you know what I mean, who, to, who is our enemy? So this is Matthew 5 and 43. So it says, you know, this is how Shai read letter letter saying, you have heard that it has been said that thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So, you know, the question was, who is our enemy? You know, and, and that's the question I brought out to the, uh, the elders, you know what I mean? Because they, they know better than I could do to expound upon it. But that was the question we started with. Okay, so what happened was, yeah, he, Careful. Careful. Yeah, so what happened was uh, we said let's just go with the word enemy first. So we went into the blue letter and uh, you got it? Uh, no. Uh, okay, hold on. Yeah. I, I turned my phone back off. Hold yeah. on. So what that happened was when we went into that word enemy that was being read right there, uh, it basically boiled down to the fact that uh, who is the enemy? My friend just died. Wow. Okay. I got, I got, I got okay. It's a minute. No, he's gone. Go ahead. So this is um the uh, Hebrew for enemy in that uh, Matthew five and forty three. It says hated, odious, hateful, hostile, hating, and opposing another. Used of men as an enmity with the Most High by their sin. Opposing the Most High in the mind. A man that is hostile. A third enemy, the hostile one, the devil who is the most bitter enemy of the divine government. Okay, so that, that if you go in and you pull that up and you look those up, they come up in different little clicks and different little sections. Okay, in this particular case, based on content, everything is applicable except for that last one when it talks about Satan itself. Okay, and the reason that we're going to say that is because of the fact that it's a, according to the law and to the testimony. If we don't speak according to this truth, there's no light in it. So we go deal with what the law actually has said about it. Okay, so uh, read, read the next verse. Read the next verse. Uh, that ye shall like that you may be the children of the Father, which is heaven. Oh, 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 you read 43 and 44? Yeah, Slock, I read them over again. It's Matthew 5. You read 44? Yeah, I read it. I read it okay. again, Slock. It's Matthew 5 and 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. Right. Now, when people read these scriptures, they tend to believe that we're supposed to go around and uh, 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 try to convert Chief Key for them. All right, well actually what, we're, what we are doing, we are trying to convert Chief Key, so to speak, by going out and, and giving them good news. And giving, and giving them the truth. All right, if you go in Ezekiel, I got something real quick. Go ahead. Just down. Well, it's quick once the phone went out. Yeah, 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 right. Because <laughs> um, our job is to teach our people, man, all right, no matter what. Right. This is um, um Ezekiel 2 and 7. It says, and thou shalt speak my words unto the, uh, matter of fact, started, um, started six. And thou, Ezekiel 2 and 6, and thou son of man, be not afraid of them, 
neither be afraid of their words, though briars and thorns be with thee, and thou dost dwell among scorpions. Be not afraid of their words, nor dismayed at their looks, though they be a rebellious house. All right, so the Lord told us to go talk to these people, man. These people who are rebellious, they're going to look tough, they're going to look rough. All right, they're going to talk shit. All right, they're going to come, they're going to come uh, 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 at you as, a, as an evil person. But, but here's what the Lord said to do, go do. Then thou shalt speak my words unto them, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for, thou, for they are a most rebellious house. All right, so the rebellious people that the Lord has sent us to are our enemies, man. All right, but our job is to tell them whether they hear us or they don't want to hear us, man. Okay, Yahweh Shah went along and did a lot of preaching and teaching and things of this nature. And when he when he was uh, dealing with his disciples, he told them if they hate if they hate you, it's because they hated me first. Okay, so and since we're not above our teacher or whatever or above our Lord, okay, we're going to have this. We're going to have the same. Uh, uh, roadblocks and obstacles and things of this nature. Remember now, when when uh, Yahweh Shah was actually presented for his crucifixion, the, the people had a choice that they could make between uh, a fucking thief and a killer and Yahweh Shah. And they and, and, and the so-called people, as you say, the salt and the salt, these right. Christians, right. these Christians and whatnot, that was also in the salt, following the Pharisees' lead and whatnot, Pharisees and Sadducees' lead, told, told them to persecute to, 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 to do, do away with them. Let his blood be on our hands. Let his blood be on us. And this type of thing. So we're going to run into the same thing today. So this love that this world and this country Christianity has pushed is a false doctrine that really truly don't line up. What the scriptures is actually saying. I got this thing. Um, Exodus 23 and 4, because really, all right, even even our enemies, we're supposed to treat them with a certain level of um, um, uh, um, of respect and dignity because they're Israelites. Exactly. All but right. The key thing then is because they're Israelites, okay? This is not what, when the law, statutes, and commandments was given to the people when they were brought out of Egypt. Moab, Ammon, Edomites, Canaanites, okay, and when I say Canaanites or Hamites, when I say Hamites, I'm talking about any other other so-called African uh, tribe that would be, y'all call them tribes, whether they're the Canaanites, the, uh, the, the, uh, the Hamites, the, uh, what's that, the, uh, was it Techlites or whatever the combination of them? It was a whole bunch of them. But yeah, but you all wasn't there when the law section and commandments was given. So the law section and commandments wasn't given to you for that matter. Go ahead and read. In Exodus 23 and 4, thou meet thine enemy's ox or his ass going astray, thou shalt surely bring it back to him again. And thou see the ass of him that hateth thee lying under his burden and would have forbear to help him, thou shalt surely help with him, man. All right, so even even our enemies, we're supposed to look out for them, man. And that's good to talk about, you know, who you, know who you do good to, yeah. But at the same time, our um, um, our uh, our um, uh, laws tell us, even though that dude is uh, 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 um, uh, maybe uh, we don't get along. Somebody, yeah, you don't get along. But now, if you broke down the side of the road, yes, you're supposed to help that man, man. Like I said, you know, look, look, let's get let's get let's get this oh, understood. Let me get this understand. Paul and Barnabas parted ways. You don't say nowhere else in the scripture after they parted ways that Barnabas wasn't a man of the Lord. Okay. Uh, with that being the case, and it's not saying that that Barnabas wasn't a man of the Lord, you have things that work and then some, sometimes they don't work. Like I said, I get upset with this brother from time, and it is what it is. But if, but if he was broke down on the side of the road and I wrote and I saw him, even though I'm upset with him, I'm gonna call him and let him know, hey man, I just rode past you on the thing. I'm, I'm swinging back around. What's going on with your whip? You know, you need to jump what? What's going on? I ran out of gas. Well, I'm gonna talk about him, but I'm gonna roll around with my gas can and we gonna go get him some gas. Okay, 
because he might have just been preoccupied, had a lot on his mind, woman might have given drama or whatever. And I'm not gonna even stand it out there. That's what that scripture is saying. Your prize bull, if he gets out of the barn and I see it, if he's not known for going, or and I mean going by ram ramming you, trying to stick you on the end of his horns, if he's not known for that, I'm supposed to grab your bull and bring him to you. Or your or your donkey. If he ain't known for kicking motherfuckers in the head and taking their fucking sanity, then I'm supposed to grab him and bring him back to you. Yeah, yeah, so back to uh, we were saying, you know what I mean? The law was plain to us on how to deal with Israel. You know what I mean? Our enemies are the enemies of Israel. This is uh, Leviticus 19 and 18. Uh, this is the law. Thou shalt not hate thy brother thy heart. Thou shalt anywise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer, and not suffer sin upon him. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am Yahweh. So, it, you know, this is the question of who we dealing with. We only dealing with Israel. So even when we get into a situation with our people, how they may vex us, our job is to still love them, you know what I mean? Because, you know, they may have gone off and may not have understood. We don't seek vengeance against Israel. This is the laws that we would give us. Okay, no, 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 you're good. But let's get an understanding as that, okay? Our law, I mean, our love being demonstrated to two-thirds of Israel is trying to bring them to Okay, trying to trying to get them to understand the good news as to that salvation is at hand and this type of thing is at hand. Now, what like the brother said, whether you hear for bear, that's gonna be on you. But our job is to come out here and and and, 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 and attempt, basically attempt to save them right. from the destruction that's coming down the pipe, and that's the love that we have. We try to save you from the destruction that the Lord has preordained that is going to happen no matter what you think is going to happen. And, and so we trying to warn you. Yo, man, yo, hey, they doing wrong over there on that block, man. You don't want to roll over there. All right? Go ahead, whatever you got. In 2 Timothy 2, um, start at 24. It says, And the servant of the Lord must not strive but be gentle to all men apt to teach. All right, now, yeah, you're gonna have certain instances where people are gonna come up and they're gonna just, uh, 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 they're there for contention and they're there to mock. All right, but our job is still to um, to teach it to edify, man. All right, verse 25, and this is the point. It says, in, in meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if the most high prevention will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth. That's right, so our job is to go out there and to teach people, or to teach our people who are going off, man, to show them the ways of the Lord, to bring them to bring them to the um, to the laws and the commandments and the good graces and the mercy of our Lord, man. All right, you got people, out here, you know, you got people, uh, people out here uh, 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 giving, t uh, getting tattoos, committing adultery. All right, uh, uh, um, eat, eat, eat abominable foods. That's right, and our job is to instruct them, man. All right, hey, um, um, here's a better way of living. Here's here's an alternative choice of. Of, um, of, of meats you can eat, all right? Right. To help them live a better, healthier ha uh, um, uh, lifestyle. To live a better, a uh, 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 healthier spiritual lifestyle, all right, that's been um, uh, 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 bestowed upon us by the Lord, man. Because the truth of the matter is this, not to cut you off, but the truth of the matter is this. The Lord, you will see an Edomite eat a, eat a buddy ass steak. You will see an Ammonite Japanese or a Moabite, which is Chinese, as you know it. Uh, uh, eat a rat or whatever combination of things it might be. And that's their culture. They'll do that. As a matter of fact, Kim Jong-un had put a, a decree down there. Get the thing. Down through there on uh, North Korea because of the fact that the people was getting too comfortable with, with food for them you know, taking on these Western ways. Bottom line is the decree, the, the decree and the law, statutes and commandments that was given to us was given to us. We'll turn around, that 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 that, that more bite to eat that dog and won't nothing happen. We'll eat that dog and get all kinds of infirmities hooked to us. Okay? Because 
The first thing we did was we we defiled the, our temple and defied the law, statute, and commandment that was given to us. And if we know that, we disregarded the judgment that the Lord said He could bring down on us or come behind. Go ahead, whatever you. Do. Right. It's a, it, Huh. It says, you meet this instruction, instructing those that oppose themselves, if if the Most High peradventure will give them repentance to the knowledge of the truth. All right? So that's our job. All right? Our job, is, our job is to teach so maybe the Lord have mercy on them, all right, and and save them from the coming destruction that's coming, man. But the scripture script talk about that the Lord um, um, suffered, uh, doesn't want any man to perish, roughly paraphrasing, but they all come to repentance and they acknowledge the truth. You see, all right. The Lord, the Lord didn't create us to die because of sin. All right, death is entering into the world. Yeah, that that that, that was a, that was a decree. He said, he told us, if you partake of this, surely, and you shall die in that day. And a thousand years being a day, and a day a thousand years, ain't no man live past a thousand year decree that the Lord put in place. Okay, the oldest man we got is Methuselah. At 969 years old, but that's still inside that thousand year day. Go ahead, whatever y'all thought. Yeah, yeah, so we you have to make the distinction too. So, this is uh talking about you know Israel only and the, what's gonna come of the other nations because the bottom line is y'all still thinking that Esau is a part of this heritage and it's not. So, I, I want to get that distinction so they understand clearly. That the, the enemy is Israel, not Esau. So this is uh Second Ezra six, I mean Second Ezra two six uh, fifty four fifty five, and after these Adam also thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all, and the people also whom thou hast chosen. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. And has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So this is plain and clear that you know, even though they, you know, they're not a part of us. You know, this is what we all, the how about Shemal Shah has made the separation. Israel is a peculiar treasure unto himself. This is what this pertains to, and this was applied to. Your uh, the Lord, you know what I mean, has a righteous indignation against his enemies, which is Esau Edom. He hated him with a perfect hatred. So you can't, uh, we can't go above what the how about Shemal Shah hate. How are we gonna go around who he's hating? You know, if he say if he hate him, how are you gonna love what the most high hate? It's impossible. No, actually, it ain't impossible, but it's foolish. Okay. That's what the two thirds are doing. Right. That's what these other nations are doing. Right. They trying to love on something that was designed to be wicked, to commit all kinds of sin, and be destructive and destruction. And it's designed to be, after a thousand years of hardcore slavery, destroyed. But they want to put their love on that. Right, right. Okay? So I'm not going to say it, it isn't possible, but the point the point goes totally against what Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai has got from the beginning planned to come down the pipe in the first place. Okay, anybody else got anything? Um, uh, Romans 11. And 26 this is the proof of a little point about who our enemies are. You know, it's about blessing them and cursing them, all right? The Lord made a clearly distinction who, who, who the enemies are that um that Matthew 5 it says, and so Israel, so all Israel shall be saved as it is written, they shall come out of Zion to deliver and shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. For this is my covenant to them when I shall take away their sins. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sake, man. All right. So, um, um, uh, 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 so the people who are um, who are our enemies, all right, they're against the gospel of Yahweh man. All right, they're enemies of the cross. Okay. So when it comes to um, um, um blessing and cursing them, hey, our job is to um, um, uh, uh, um uh, to kiss them with the lips of these scriptures, man. All right. And when they forbear. When they start to mock, hey, then they're gonna get to cursing, man. You see? And that's the you know, and that's the balance of the Lord, man. Are right, you blessed him not curse you, man? Cause the scripture talk about as I, um, um as we've been speaking speaking evil of as evildoers, man. Alright, even though we're out here trying to wake them up, trying to preserve their life, they call us all these names, alright, derogatory names and bywords, 
And all we're doing is trying to show them their life. You have to me outside to escape the damnation that's coming to this place. Look, man, these people want to, these church people want to say, I'm, 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 I'm blessed and highly favored. Right. How are you blessed and highly favored when you don't know if you're going to duck a missile or not? None of us know if we're going to duck a missile or not. But what we do know is if you don't have an understanding in the name of Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, you don't have an understanding as to who your enemy is, who did he come to save? How are you supposed to be um, acting, reacting, and living? If you don't have a clean understanding of that on some level, then guess what? You go be here when the when the nuke says Sirenara, America. So, us, like I said again, what we trying to do, because we don't know ourselves, but we're trying to make, we trying to do this work, or we're doing this work hoping that the Lord's gonna show mercy and we can miss this. And we're trying to give you the knowledge so you can make the uh, apropos adjustments and you can, you can be on the chariot too and miss this. This is what we're out here doing. And if that ain't love, I don't know what love is. I'm trying to keep your ass from an ass whooping that I know you can't bear. <laughs> right. Okay? Right. Got anything? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's, it's, this is it's, uh, Galatians 6 and 7. So like we was just telling y'all, you know what I mean? It's impossible, Salaki, not impossible, but, you know, uh, Esau, the board of wickedness who've done all these abominable stuff to Esau, how the hell are they going to be a part of the inheritance, you know what I mean? And, you know, after all the shit they continue to do to oppress us 24-7, you know what I mean? Y'all got it messed up, you know what I mean? So, it, it, because they confusing y'all, that's on, you know, you wicked two-thirds of Christians, y'all going to be lost. But this is Galatians 6 and 7, because we not, you know, we not fooled by their devices. This is Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. God is not mocked, for whatsoever man saw, that shall he also weep. So Esau, this wicked white, white man, he continued to sow discord, destruction, uh, you know, around, uh, the, around world. the world. So there's no, he's got to pay for that, point blank, period. He is the enemy. You know what I mean? And, you know, like David said, we hate him with a perfect hatred because you're how shy hate him. We're not going to waver on that. Y'all the ones that are not getting this thing figured out. We understand it. Okay. You know what I mean? Well, also, too, like, show me the scripture where it says that we blessed that we blessed and um, dealt with Esau, man. Esau never got no blessing from us, man. Right. All right. He don't have no um uh uh uh, uh no 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 place in this next kingdom the rulership. No, he got a place. No, his man on the fucking totem pole. Yeah. No, let Captivity. Me get it. This is Revelation thirteen and ten. This is what's going on with Esau. He's the lowest man on the totem pole. Right. Total so ball. for the, those who don't believe, this is Revelation thirteen and ten. He that leadeth in captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. He is the patient of the faith of the saints. So, you know, which one is true? He's going into captivity like we went into captivity. Mm -hmm. This is plain and simple. You know what I mean? Look. So, th <laughs> there's no getting around it. Hey, look. 18, nation, yeah. 18, no, 18 nations on the planet. 17 got to go into hardcore slavery. After the 17 going into hardcore slavery, one is going to be absolutely, totally done away with. Right, man. Where's the blessing in that? <laughs> like I said, blessed. It's a blessing that curse you. Esau curses us. All right, he goes, he goes, he goes, and we say, um, um, of the cure of our brethren. Right. Uh, he stands between, before the Lord, the, um, 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 the brother of our accuser. High right? his hands. Put, 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 put uh, uh, the uh, uh, a derivative of a pork in something, and then change the name of it. Change the name of it, and then see they. See him, see him, they eating that pork, they eating that pork. They can't even pronounce the fucking pork that you done, you done turned it into. Right. The, the, the Mexi Molacone Ferrari for shit. <laughs> you did what? <laughs> I can't even pronounce this shit. And then boys got back down to pork. And now you want to go, see, they eating pork. I can't even read this shit. And you pull to bless somebody like that? Right. You see? <laughs> So when you read that Matthew 5, it is, it is that you know it's not talking about Esau, man. It's not talking about Esau, period. Yes. So, anything else? Yeah, and, and to, you know, just to put that cherry on the top, like you said, if you read up, Salaki, because that's what I was supposed to do, mm -hmm. uh, that was my 30, fault. 38? Yeah, exactly, right. I was supposed to read 38, where it outlines that it's the law. Who was the law given to? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So this is uh, Matthew 5 and 38. That was you know, for y'all to edification oh, well, purpose. No. Yeah, Matthew 5 and 38, it says, uh, the camera just went off. It went off? Yeah. Okay. Put the blue button on the corner. Oh, that's fine. We, we got it. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Right. So yeah, so uh, yeah, if you read up in the scripture, you so-called uh, Christians and idiots and scholars, it says you have heard that it has been said an eye for an eye and a tooth for two. You know what I mean? But I say unto you that you resist not evil, but who else who shall like it? But whosoever shall smite thee on the right cheek, turn to him the, also the other. But the point is, when you go up to that thirty-eight, it says eye for eye. That's the law. So only the law was given to Israel. Right. Israel only. You know, and, and we got that. Uh, uh, right here, so I can grab that law. This is uh, Psalms, because uh, when you get to the law, then you understand who the law was written for. This is uh, Psalms. I'm on it today. <laughs> this is Psalms 147, Salakia 1920. He showeth his word unto Jacob and his statue and his judgments unto Israel. He have not dealt so with any nation, and as for his judgment, they have not known them. Praise ye Yahweh. Bottom line, point blank, period. So Yahweh Shai always went to the law. And the law is plain and simple. It was given to us, not to them. So when you get that understanding, you know the enemy is Israel because the laws was given to us. Okay. So that that was that was the question that came up. That was the answer that, that's been brought out. That's also the background on it as far as even in the Greek what the word meant. So, uh, hope that was edifying. Right, one more Bible can shot. This, uh, this got to come out real quick. Second Edith 7 and 36. Then said I, Abraham, prayed first for the Sodomites and Moses for the father that sinned in the wilderness. All right, so when you hear that, you think that Moses prayed um, uh, uh, for the alphabet community, all right. But who, but who was in Sodom? It was Lot. So that does let you know that, that Matthew five is not talking about um, 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 Esau Edom, but it's talking about our people, man. All right. It said Moses for the fathers that sinned in the wilderness. All right. Who are our forefathers, man? All right. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the tribes. You see, and their descendants. You see. All right. It's not about. Um, 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 uh, 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 nothing but Israel, man. We're the ones who were praying, like, we're the ones, Israel are the ones that's being prayed for by, by the elect, all right? Hoping to reach the elect out of those multitudes, man. Right? You got to get hit with one more. Okay. You know, this is Isaiah 40 15, because y'all don't, y'all not getting a distinction. He said, Behold, the nations are as a drop of a bucket mm -hmm. and are counted as a small dust of the balance. Behold, he taketh up the isles as a very little thing, and Lebanon is not sufficient to burn, nor the beasts there are sufficient for the burnt offering. So these other nations ain't even worth burning. You know what I mean? The bottom line, Israel is his only peculiar treasure. You other nations, he have not dealt with y'all, so y'all y'all gonna be decimated and destroyed. But point blank period. There's no getting around it. Like, right. you know, like the elders were saying, he was only dealing with Israel. That's what this is all about. The covenant was made with Israel. The laws and statutes were given to Israel. Israel is the one who's going to be the judge and the, uh, Yahweh Shai and the new coming of the kingdom. It has nothing to do with the other nations. Okay. That's it. That's it. okay, so with that, we hope that's edifying. Hope that that kind of uh, puts to rest this question as to who's who and what's what and who's supposed to get shown love to and who's not and these type of things. Okay, so with that, we want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. The apostles and elders of JMS out of New York, the elder bishops out of Connecticut, the apostle that's down in Texas, uh, we send double honors because they rule well. Brothers around the world is pushing this truth out here, uh, basically uh, showing the people their error, their ways, whether they want to see him or not and declare him war on the planet, salutations. Hopefully that we hope that's satisfying. Aqua, if you're in Twitter's listening to say the chat, if you're doing so, we'll play you score on the scope for your pay two thirds is the likes of seventeen other nations who are in the midst of this. You basically in the midst of Jacob's trouble and this black horse is going to cost a whole lot more with hyperinflation and everything getting ready to kick in. You know what? To you all, a barber ball. Barber ball.